Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another new video. So I have reached Chiang Mai and I am in my hotel now. And I'll be giving you a quick tour of this hotel. This hotel name is called Rosette Hotel. You can pronounce this in multiple ways, but uh, the one I'm trying to pronounce is right from the website. That is Rose Eight, uh, Rosie at Hotel in Chiang Mai, and this is in the most popular happening area in Chiang Mai. It is very close to the night markets, and uh, there are like three to four. Uh, types of roads you can see in Chiang Mai one is for nightlife one is for food and another one is for the massage centers but i of course want to stay in the in the area where there is good for food so but this street is very known for food and you get very very good uh, local chiang mai uh, style of food uh, because every city in thailand has its own style so without wasting any time let me give you a room tour uh, the lighting is very bad guys so please do adjust i'll try to uh, increase the brightness while editing but the overall the quality of lighting in this room this very big room it's very nice but only problem is there's only one signal light for the main hall and that is very disappointing uh, i don't know why they did this there is no lighting at all in the room but however let me give you a room tour and show you this hotel uh cost and other things i'll speak after the tour so please stay tuned so this is my room guys it's 326 so let me just access it and try to get in Yeah, here I am. This is my room itself. I'm just going to close the door and insert the card. I'm just going to lock the room as well. Yeah. So this is the room itself. Like I said, the brightness is very disappointing in the room. I've increased the brightness as much as possible on my uh, on my camera, and also I've tried to I'll try to edit this. I hope you guys can notice the output. But this is what I was talking about. There's only one light for the entire room, and that. apparently is not a uh, light it's kind of a uh, smoke detector or something because this is a non smoking room that i requested for i think it's a it's a smoke detector and that is the ac so this is the large bed that i've given uh, when you usually book hotels you book as one adult two adults one room so i usually took this standard the same thing and as you can see they've given us a small lamp here i should i think uh, turn on this lamp for at least uh, some better uh, brightness and they've given us a couple of chairs and i was just sitting here uh, trying to vlog some information for you guys and this is the tv and they've given some instructions here um like um no, it's pretty much in thai and they've uh, just given the loss or damage and no legal responsible uh, for guest property in case of loss uh so i mean yeah i mean this this is pretty much standard and uh, i i forgot to get my indian plug actually but this looks like the indian plug will easily fit here so that's a positive sign and they've given us um, uh, the refrigerator as well so that's that's good usually in thailand they keep something in the refrigerator yeah they've given us a couple of water bottles that is very good and you can see some slippers as well here and this is the standard cupboard and they've given us the safe as well which is very good this is supposed to be a three star hotel so they've done um, i think uh, reasonably a very good job and this is the mirror itself and i've just kept kept my old cabin baggies that i get when i travel solo and this is pretty much it and this is the this is the washroom so as you can see again these are like pretty standard there's nothing much to talk about you have uh, body wash etc and uh, there's no need for hot water because the temperature is very hot uh, in thailand and you have this standard cover and good thing is they have the hand gun so that's a very positive side about this and this is like the normal um, like the normal uh, mirror and standard of given and towels face towels as well which is very good apart from what you get here So that's a that's a very good sign, and they have the hand rail as well as as a part of three star. There are certain amenities that come with it, and this is a kind of a balcony. I've got this is very surprised it when I saw. So it just goes outside. I think there's the AC vent. This is the other side of the hotel if you want to move to the other part of the hotel, and this is the AC outlet. So this is not why they kept this way, but it's uh, it's kind of different. So yeah, I mean that's it, guys. So this is a very very small uh, room tour, and this they've got some basic design here. I'll try to switch on the lamps. and they've got the tv as well uh, <laughs> we don't watch tv when we come on foreign trips but yeah i mean that's an addition and looks clean uh, as of now there's no complaints uh, the room looks clean the room looks very good so that's it guys i mean um they yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed the room tour and i hope it is informative so the room costed me roughly around 5800 rupees for four nights which if you ask me including all the taxes it was 5800 rupees uh, for four nights which is very reasonable considering the area and when you speak about pattaya or bangkok or phuket usually the rooms are very expensive 
but here i found this to be very reasonable and very uh, cheap uh, compared to bangkok phuket krabi uh, rayong uh, ratchaburi or even pattaya so chiang mai is a very offbeat place not many people visit chiang mai as much as they do for bangkok and pattaya but my recommendation seriously visit chiang mai there's a lot of beautiful places to see in chiang mai i'm going to cover some of the places i'll also make a video about it as well but it's very very good guys and the the uh, the reception also i got when i entered the hotel was very good and you can book this through agoda or any website but agoda is books a bit cheaper for me if you want uh, to book through the link i provide it will help my channel you can do the same so like i said it roughly costed me six five thousand eight hundred for four nights and the usual second uh timings are same it's like 2 p.m check-in and 12 p.m check out that is standard everywhere even in india so no problem you just have to submit your passport and they'll see your um immigration seal on your and stamp on your passport and they'll take a photocopy of a passport standard wherever you go to any foreign country and that's pretty much it so i hope this video was very informative i'll catch you guys in my next video